Hi, I'm James Roselle, instructor of exotic sugar orchids at Craftsy.com. I'm going to show you how to make some rocks out of sugar paste. What I have in front of me is a log, pre-rolled log of black sugar paste and white sugar paste. You can also make these out of fondant if you like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to marbleize the sugar paste. So I'm going to press the smaller white log of sugar paste into the black log. Okay, I'm going to roll the log onto my work surface and I'm just going to twist. Just twist to make it look like a candy cane. Once I've twisted that, I'm just going to roll my log into itself like so. Okay, I'm going to press that and I'm just going to re-roll it. If you have trouble with your sugar paste sticking on your table, just do a little bit of shortening. Dip your finger into the shortening, put some shortening onto your tabletop, and that should cure your sugar paste from sticking to the tabletop. Once I have a nice marbling effect, then I can get into actually making the rocks. I'm gonna take my little small pizza mini cutter, just cut segments. Size doesn't matter. You can cut them as large or as small as you like. Once you've cut them, you're gonna pick them up and put them in the palm of your hand and just roll. You wanna roll the sugar paste in the palm of your hand to get a seamless ball, just like that. And what I like to do is I like to turn the piece of sugar paste in my hand and see what best marbleized area looks best. Okay, so I'm going to press down and just with the warmth of my hand you get a nice glossy effect. Okay, so that's one. Put that down on a piece of foam and let that dry overnight. Again, roll that sugar paste in the palm of your hand just like that. Pick what marbleized side you like best. Press that on the palm of your hand. Rub it. Place that down, allow it to dry. Now all your rocks don't have to be round. You can actually make them elongated, just like this, because rocks are all shapes and sizes. And what I like to do is I like to run my finger over the top of it just to smooth it out, just like that. And you can see I have some here already dried for me. I have some large ones, some small ones, some medium ones. And you can also see I have a large one right in front of me that I've actually embossed. You can do this, it personalizes your rocks. What I did was I used some letters just embossed the word craftsy on it. And now you have a nice personalized treat for a birthday cake, a wedding cake, whatever you want. To get that glossy look, what I use is an edible lacquer. You wanna spray, spray that edible lacquer over your rocks. Before you spray, shake the can, point that lacquer onto your rock, and just give it one good spritz. If you want, you can even tap, lift your rocks up, let them air dry. I'd say for about 15 to 20 minutes, and you have a perfect rock made out of sugar paste. It's a great accent for a birthday cake, for any Asian inspired cakes. It's great for orchids. Uh, especially for Cattleyas, Cymbidiums, and Dendrobium orchids, or like I said, any Asian-inspired cake. I'm James Roselle. If you'd like to learn more on sugar paste, come take my class, Exotic Sugar Orchids, at Craftsy.com. Hope to see you there.